Um, what are we doing again? Wait. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, Mike. Oh, that's fine. Ah, all right. What are we? What are we going to do here? Here? Where are we going? Ayo nga no. Sana naman kaya na natin to. <laughs> Di yan. Ito. I hope, I hope na kaya na natin to. Narinig ba ako? Nagas mong de-delay ka mamaya. <laughs> Rune May, how are the- wait, what? How are the two doing lately? Did they learn how to coexist? Who? Don't worry about it. Maybe eventually. I look forward to explain new stories with you. The future research will still continue. Uh, alabaster. Hmm. Alright. Okay, tingnan natin kung kaya natin to. Tapusin. Kaya kayo ng mga characters ko. Para para ikitsu andin balik bahiru Sa wakashi ni biyarin Sorry. Ah, uh, wait lang. Then I scroll in chat. All right. Uh, what am I doing again? We have the upper hand. Dawson <laughs> volume. Ah. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Commencing support. Ow. Ow. Hit that. No, the dam. No, the dam is hitting. Let's begin. Enemy targets ready for another. Boom. Commencing research. Um. Try that again. My turn. Ow. Leave it to me. Commencing ready for another. Alatang di ganon ka taas ng damage ko. Uh, hindi gan hindi ganun kataas yung damage ko. Matagal, matagal konti. So, mabuti talaga na upgrade ko si March. Pero, isa na yung... Isa, okay, sana pa si Jepard eh. Pero, uh, Jepard eh. Pero, uh, I guess si Welt okay na. Enemy ahead. Enemy ahead. Enemy ahead, man. Survive or be destroyed. 
There is no other choice. Enemy targets detected. Ready for another? I bought that. Tanggalin natin yung Mara. I just heal you, baka lang. Oh, that was a lynx. Mara. Tagal sa ang sobrang tagal sa isang laban nung oh. oh my god. Nothing of 
survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Let's begin. We have the upper hand. <laughs> Let's begin. Level 63. Let's see what it Tagal, sorry. Ano, wala, akong, wala akong kadamage damage. <laughs> Ay, nako. Okay, I think umilag, ilaga muna natin sila. Ah, kaya pala ang tibay. Special pala yun. Kaya pala ang tibay. Wait, saan ba tayo? Wait, ang pinapunta natin? Wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ang may pinupuntaan natin? Ito pala. Ito yung pumunta dun. The last of the three talents is here. Um, so, how do you, how do you, I know. No, we're not in. Our people sing the hymn of clouds. This mural portrays the Vidyadara young. They acquire knowledge and depart for different places on the Shenzhou, thereby dedicating themselves to serving the Alliance. This mural is pretty interesting. It looks like time hasn't had any effect on it. This mural must be related to the others here. It tells the story of the Vidyadara self-reincarnation. From hatching rebirth in the ancient sea, to the return to that same sea as the cycle begins again. Hey, do you think this could be related to the seals? Perhaps. Uh, perhaps? Uh, fair enough. 
It's tough racking your brains all the time. I'm struggling to keep track. So what do we remove the three BBR seals? So how do we uh, know? Okay. Our reincarnation's greatest cost. The mural depicts the Vidyadva being guided by the. Being guided. Uh, guided. Well, siyempre hula ko ete pang apat eh. Guided. So, so sabi natin three yun. De, ito one. One. Pwede, try ko lang ako ito. What seems to be the problem, friend? Hmm. It would appear the seals have you at a loss. Ah. Could the murals in our vicinity be related to the seals? What seems to be the problem, friend? Hmm. It would appear the seals don't tell me that thing una, kasi baby eh. Could the murals in our vicinity be related oh. to the seals? Oh. So baby. What seems to be the problem? Oh, okay, oh, I think it's one. Hmm. It would appear this. It's one. The worldly limit of the Vidyadva is reached after seven centuries. Next hatching, next hatching, so fourth, I think fourth. Pull out a fourth. So wait, wait, wait. Is it, is it one? Fourth. Pull out a third. I think for it, it's a rebirth. Eh. <laughs> nice. And it's another time. Let's go back to the wait. The ultimate ni Dan Heng as the dragon. Ito, di ba? So technically, ito yung burst niya. <laughs> Now we must head for the roots of the arbor. I'm not fighting you guys. The roots of the arbor are still growing. It's Fantelia. We must hurry. We're here. Is that a dragon? Yeah, pati ka tabi mo rin. Reached the end. These are the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, where the vestiges of abundance lie. Reverence to the three talents, the path to the great roots. This is it. Under the power of the High Elder, the Arbor's roots have formed into the image of a dragon. Now, I will break the final seal. I hope everyone is prepared. Step in this. Step into the depths of the roots of the arbor. Oh my God. Level 58. Team must include Jing Yuan. Challenge condition. Oh. Look set up. The Jing Yuan. Jing Yuan. Uh. Kailangan kaya natin si Pela. No, hindi natin. Train na, train lang natin. Okay, I think ito okay na. Si Rock nang magiging pang stun. <laughs> Wait, kakalaban natin yung dragon? What the heck? Where the heck are we? Oh. <laughs> Antelia. Oh, ito na siya. The general of the law who chosen to grace me with his presence. Ah, that witch! She was here waiting for us the whole time! Show yourself, Antelia! 
And the benefactors, too. Oh, patience, patience. Uh, let me make myself presentable. Presentable? And now I see why the disciples of Sanctus Medicus hold themselves in such high regard. The Arbor's traces really do possess the power of metamorphosis. Uh, Fantilia! What is she do? Oh. 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 Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. <laughs> Benefactors, behold this beautiful body. Oh, beautiful Dalaga. <laughs> Matindi, matindi lang ganito yung mga boss sa Genshin. <laughs> oh, shots. Ito, pinlik lang. Oh. Ano yun? Skill point reduce. Alright, right. right. I'll go for the body. Nice. What did you? What did you get? The boss again, Shinden. The heck? Oh, skill point. Oh, I'm gonna do a boss fight now. Ay, shots. Pata pinip... Pinipitik lang si ano. Oh my, buti naman, buti, may, buti si Jingwen nandito. Let's shield Jingwen. Skill points. Buti naman siya ng damage. Ayan, thank you. Ayan, uh, shield ng March, shield lang. Shield, march, shield, long. I got. I got a boss fight. Tato, but it's not like the boss against you, no. Gato ko lang kayo. Is that it? Point reduce. Stand down. <laughs> Time. Show no mercy. Good. Try that again. To trouble. What a pity, pity, Asa si Ting yun? Let's 
begin. Jingyuan, lo kamo matay. Oh shit. Oh, Dong Hong. Oh shish! This guy didn't roar to attack Fantelia. Another one. March. Oh, final face. Oh, what kind of things? Someone that I can learn is limited to powers generated by Fantelia. <laughs> well, this. <laughs> You know nothing of survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Commencing research. Leave it to me. The fuck, man. Well. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. 
Well, nice. <laughs> What's a one health moon person? Forgive my indulgence. Your struggle in the face of for my next trick. I shall turn each of you into my void rangers. The power of the destruction. Eat away at your flesh and transform you into pawns. Of the great Nanook. <laughs> Let's start with this arrogant oh, shit. Oi. <laughs> no, you gun. General into the void manger would cast the law proof back into chaos. Dying destruction works in fascinating. What are you? Oh, Please, I'm not Not bad, General of the Hunt. But all I lost was a body stolen on a whim. And you, how much longer can you last? The destruction of the Sienjo is nigh. <laughs> Be gone, Palm of Destruction. Tell the Legion that the vengeance of the hunt will fall upon them. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> okay, but General, are you okay? I'm still alive. <laughs> and it would seem the two of us can still coordinate our efforts. <sighs> Antilia, a truly fearsome enemy. If she hadn't attempted to turn me into a pawn of destruction, I'm afraid victory would have been far from certain. <clears throat> if Antilia had established a link between me and herself, her well timed strike gravely injured her. Thus, her connection to the arbor was severed. So it was all part of the plan? When Don Hung stabbed you, I was scared to death. Is Fantasy still alive? Why? It takes more than that to destroy an emanator of destruction. Still. Fantilia won't be stirring up trouble anytime soon. Don't worry about her infecting the arbor again. It's just that sealing the Stellaron is going to take some time. Leave that to the Master Diviner. Whew. I'm afraid I may be <laughs> somewhat spent. Uh, General, keep those eyes open. Now's not the time to fall asleep. Uh, uh, hey, wake up! 
few months later, Fuxian and Cloud Knights arrive at Star Escape, who's ready to take all the exalting Sanctum. Sanctum. Kakaiba talaga yung Hongkai mag-hype ng laban, ah. Sheesh! Alright, that's done. Gusto nyo tayo gusto nyo tapos ng Luaf quest. Ah, I need ka na ako na makapunta sa Penicone, pero mga quest pa. Piling ko i-off-stream ko na lahat hanggang makapunta ako sa Penicone. Right, that's done. Where are we going now? Hello? Oh, hi, Kay. Salamat sa rin. C6 Chichi main. C6 Chichi main. Actually, na naalala ko, napaalala ko ko tuloy. <laughs> Sa akin tayo na eh. Where are you going? Tinanggap ko na lang. <laughs> okay, tatanggapin ko na rin yung tayo na I think C2 pa lang ako dun. Na, I'm just passing by. Sometimes later, but the seat of divine force is checking Jing Yuan. Lapit na ako rin. Oh, I'm excited na ako dun. She's temporarily taken on the general's responsibilities. Before meeting, excited na, excited na. Dami ko na kay ipon. SOP. I don't think I can ever get used to this. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. Collating casualties and losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the disciples. Submitting battle reports to the six charioteers. Now I know what Jing Yuan meant when he said, the highest throne faces the strongest win. Uh, but you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> Generalship is no trifling matter. How could I be enjoying myself? All I can do is get used to it. <laughs> I think she's enjoying herself. Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? Of course not. On the contrary. I am eager to thank you all in my official capacity as Acting General of the Law Fu. With Dr. Pools. Now that things have drawn to a conclusion, <laughs> It is time to reward you. <laughs> Good luck, Narin Sapuls. Ooh, all those benefits that the general promised. They're finally here. Yippee! Yes. The Astral Express has braved great evil for the Lawfu. Your devotion is evident. After discussions with the Six Charioteers, you are henceforth sworn allies of the Lawfu. Within the Lawfu's jurisdiction, you are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. Oh, what's it down here? The Astral Express, I would like to thank you, Master Diviner. Oh, wow. Nothing tangible then? Uh, but at least it sounds pretty cool. Now that things have been expressed, I still have something to discuss with you. Please, this way. Where? Pwede na kayo tayo mag-switch kay Dunghen. Dunghang. Wait, what? Seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? It's not a mission. The Stellaron Crisis. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion. The Arbor's resurrection. Not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the Law Fu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. It's just that, having been in the middle of everything, 
I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me, so that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. So, where should we begin? Uh, I don't think we need that. We need nothing around going for explanation. That we may, but as logical as things might seem, there are still many details about which we're uncertain. For example, how was the Stellaron brought onto the CNGO? And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? How many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, we've done our best. I'm submitting my report to the Alliance, and I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report. But for the sake of Jing Yuan, anything related to Cian Zhou internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive me. I was about to make the same request, Master Diviner. Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be poring over every detail of the report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. Mm. Jing Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around, and I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight generals are all such a hassle. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some Cloud Knight matters. Farewell for now. Oh, if you pass through Starskiff Haven, Yukong. I have something that I hope you can give to Yukong. It was all so chaotic. When Fantastic oh, so was a thing, vanished into thin air. The Cloud Knights were only oh. able to find her fan. She took it with her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Vantilia, or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. I'm already prepared for the worst. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amicassador may be a bleak one. As for how matters are handled with regards to Ting Yun, I believe it's best left to her foxy and Ken. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place. And I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. I understand. Leave it with us. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Now, let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. It's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. Alright. That's done. Fun with plain carp print. Uh, the fun thing occurred on her person used to be a pair, but one had gone missing. Oh. Oh. What the heck? Hi. <laughs> Wait, where are we going? Wait, optional? No, optional. Plan for the future after discussion with your companions. Optional. Uh... Wait, I'm teleported. I really need to go to the upgrades. I'm going to go to the upgrades. I'm going to go to the upgrades. i Wait, same idea, they put the same place. Forgot. Hello. Miss! Miss you! Miss you! <laughs> I see. Please extend my regards to the Ten Lords. I will. Our condolences, Hellmaster. You have guests. I shall take my leave. <clears throat> On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the Law Fu from the Stellawan Crisis. Madame Yukong must have heard about Miss Tinyun. 
Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return, was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. We're not giving her a fine. Oh, we need to Ting Yun. I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. It's simply unimaginable. <laughs> Ting Yun, snap his neck, snap her neck. <laughs> the antimatter legion on the Xianzhou. And Ting Yun, a Lord Ravager. How could someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be a monster in disguise? What happened to the real Ting Yun? Uh, Madam Yukong. I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron Crisis has cost us too many comrades, brothers, sisters, children. Oh. I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? A soul-soothing ceremony? To put it into short life terms, a funeral. You see, for long-life species of the Xianzhou, death has always been a distant, mystical concept. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us foxes. Foxians. Countless cloud knights lost their lives <laughs> when Mara struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skips and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among them. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yun. I know, I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, but she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still hardly believe it. I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts. But at present, I... <laughs> this is the least I can do for her. I'd like to ask you all to witness this event with me. Uh, how can we help? I instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star scaff. Leave this to us. We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madam Yukong. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony, and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Navalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. Alright. Shorter thing you stings with Yan Ming. Yan Ming. Yan Ming. Oh, what's that? did say that I like to gossip and here I am rambling on proving you right again if only you were here to cut me off oh and it's you 
For a moment, I thought she'd return. Did the Helm Master send you over? Oh, yes. We're here to help sort out Miss Ting Yun's things. Madam Yukong wants to use some of them for her soul soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please take your time. Wait, you can actually confirm that she Ting Yun? Hmm, I think she's going accept na namatay na siya. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay, let's see what there is. I'm so soothing. A Tammy Cassiter seal. A knife. A small box. A knife, a bow, and something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some kind oh. of antique. But who'd want to hold on to something like this? Um, Ting Yun. Oh. Ting Yun explained that one to me. It's a folk statuette from Foxy in antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yenming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yenming, it seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yun. I, I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I, I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Ting Yun and I were from different guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. Wait, what? A violin that could shatter glass with its piercing shriek. Oh. I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? I don't think we I don't think we might give gift pa. Uh, besides the seal, the knife and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. Uh, let's take a look in that box. There's nothing else except the seeds. Of seeds. It looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The sleepless earl. Let me think. Where have I seen that name before? Oh, the I knife. I can't cook to save my life, but one thing I'm sure. Oh, it's of a kitchen knife. That's a kitchen knife. I've never seen Miss Ting Yun use anything like that to defend herself. It must be another gift that she never had time to send. There's an ad in the knife case. Spices Supreme. A room alley. Which store is that again? How about the bowl? It's a good bow. It couldn't be meant for me, could it? Uh, I'm sure you're the owner. All right, just kidding. I don't see you going archer. To liven things up around here. Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? I don't see you going bow. Eh? Oh, we have all of this. All right, let's leave. No shot, na wala na si Ting dun. She's dead. Her neck got snapped. Where are we going? Give the gift to Ming Ming from the Sleepless Earl. Arrive at Arum Ali. Hi, doggy. The Sleepless Earl. Welcome to the Sleepless Earl. I'm the owner here. The name's Ming Ming. How many of you are there? Which tea would you like today? 
Now we're here on a gift giving errand. Oh, this is this is the tea Miss Ting Yun promised to get for me. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. When I took over this tea house from my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia, and imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing a new product into the industry is really hard. Miss Ting Yun came to the tea house one day and heard about my troubles. She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels. One that nobody on the Sienjo had ever tasted. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. I never thought she'd actually do it. Where is Miss Ting Yun today? Uh, she's dead. Yes. Now that the crisis has been averted and the ports are resuming operations, Miss Ting Yun has been. Yeah, malamadinian, malamadinian the hard way. <laughs> Skyfaring Commission. Out to other worlds. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Well, hold on a sec. Based on her suggestion, I improved the Whale Tide Spring, Emerald Hills, and Dawn Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long-lasting taste. Ting Yun's blend. Well, Ting Yun's blend. Seeing as she can't enjoy it right now, I'll have to invite all of you to try a cup. Why oh, this is hard? <laughs> Where are we going now? Get some rest while you can and gather your strength. Oh, is that the Wapu is famous for skin shin and dito? You've got to give it a try. Oh, how's it going? Did you take some time off? See any more of the Sienjo? Have you heard of Spicy Supreme? Place on Aura Mali over an exalting sanctum. All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? Um. Or Mali. The main commercial street in the Exalting Sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Tourists fresh off the Starskiff always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskiff Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. Whenever I'm tired of Celestial Jade or slacking off, I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Darn it, now that you brought it up, I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. You have to give to young cook from Spicy Supreme. Oh, here. Wait, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. Oh, this is all new to me. Oh, it's new to me. It's new to me. Grabe, imagine ang hulog yan. Uh, spices supreme! Honored guests, welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? Uh, something from Miss Ting Yun for me? <laughs> oh, uh, what a precious person she is. Uh, a sweet thing like her, gifting me a kitchen knife. When she first ate here, I told her my motto, you can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> Then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. She was captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift. A sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. <sighs> Look how sharp it is. I bet it cuts straight through Sheesh. a colossal titanium cube. Um, bad news. She's dead. Miss Ting Yun is too <sighs> kind. Who among the Aram Alley vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames? Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts, it's us who should be gifting her something. Oh, I heard the trade port is open again for business. Miss Ting Yun must be real busy, right? 
Um, indeed. Miss Ting Yoon couldn't tear herself away from work, so we've had to gift this on her behalf today. Oh, really? Thank you so much. Na, di talaga natin sa sabihin sa kanila. Pero I guess, uh, I guess, pin I guess pinili ko yun. I'd love to repay this kind of Ay, nako. When she goes in the back kitchen and brings out a steaming bowl of food. <laughs> Speaking of which, it was our chili beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Ting Yun to our restaurant. <laughs> it's spicy, sumptuous, and guaranteed to get the mouth watering. About that bow, I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Yep. Mr. Yun Ming said an Annie Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. The person who Ting Yun trusts the most is Madam Yukong, right? Ah, my god. Nagigilt, nagigilt, nagigilt ako na ginuko ko yung mga... mga binibigay nila na hindi ko mo sinabi na uh, nawala na si Ting Yun. Hindi na, pero hindi pa rin nawala na nawala talaga si Ting Yun. May chance na peke yun eh. Oh. You see, it doesn't have to be at the start because in the body right now, are you? Yes. I saw a sky cream signal that you were nearby. There's an important task I need your help will. Alright. Oh my god, I'm dummy. Uh, can your pupils, can your folks please go take a look at first? Where's the crash site? Alright. Oh come on, Deepa not I'm not going there yet. Why is Yukong here? Why is Yukong here? Yukong here? What brings you here? This bow. Did Ting Yun pick it out for me? She understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. The scars of that war never truly healed. Still, the Law Fu traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade. I felt tired of voyaging, like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, never wanting to see the sky again. Despite rising to Helm Master, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant, always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice, even if she was my subordinate. She never fought alongside me on the battlefield, but in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. I used to think that the Xian Zhou had changed with the times. Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the Law Fu. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out will I become useless to the Xianjo. The Xianjo needs people like me, those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. The Star Skiff is ready for the ceremony now. Everyone, please place your objects aboard the Star Skiff. Wait, 
I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. Soul Soothing Paper Kite. Send a creature to the gifts returned with the people you wish to place into the ceremony star is good. Um. Um, pini ko talaga yung paper kite talaga yung pinaka ano eh. Paper kite talaga yung pinaka best choice dahil ano, di ba? Hindi sila naging pilots. This time we needn't compete. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. Oh wait, lahat ba? Thank you for everything you've done for the Spearfaring Commission and the Law Fu. This small seed is the foundation of the Xianzhou's prosperity. This is the tea that Meng Ming has made, especially named after you. This is a gift from Miss Yen Sui on behalf of all the restaurants on Arum Alley. You're going to love this. The Skyfaring Commission shall never forget you, Ting Yun. We'll seek out the truth, and if it is discovered that you were taken from us, I swear to avenge your unjust end. It is time for the soul soothing ceremony. <laughs> Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in the Starskiff Haven. Head to Starskiff Haven, participate in the soul soothing ceremony. Where is that? Oh, I know. Na hype tayo sa boss fight at na naging <laughs> naging sad story na <laughs> sad moment. Alright, where are we going to watch? Hush. General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my astral friends. My apologies, I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Before you leave the Law Fu, there are two things I wish to give the Express. A gift? Uh, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? Uh, you're too kind, General. Please, let us reconvene at the seat of divine foresight. Right. Wait, where? Oh, my nice shits. Where are you going? Uh, you can and gather your strength. Good 
What is your purpose for... General, I am here. Present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo Law Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the Nameless. I am sure Lady Fu has given <laughs> voice to this already, but the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus, a symbol of our allied friendship. Jade Abacus. Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath, etching the record into a Jade Abacus. The world may crumble, and the heavens may fall. But this oath shall never be broken. The same is true of this Jade Abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here in my oh. area. No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew. Whatever your need may be. Wow, now that's what I call a payoff. <clears throat> of course, I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial no, or inappropriate circumstances. I hope you can understand. Yup, got it. Say no more, sure thing. Thank you for your generosity, General. Don Hong. General. In accordance with the edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely on the law foo. Nice! Nice. <laughs> But I must remind you that the crimes of Don Fong have had far-reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings a sense of relief. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. Um, though I feel my efforts would be overshadowed by the erudition of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. <laughs> I bid you farewell. Alright, the push. Jade Abacus of Lying Oath. Oh, where are we going now? What is the next destination? The Express detected the Jade Gate's reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Himeko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission too, right? Uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got any unfinished business on the Sienjo? Um... Oh yeah, there are some people we haven't said goodbye to yet. Fine, fine. <laughs> Don Hung and I will go back to the Express. The two of you come back soon, okay? Yes, yes. Don't worry, Mr. Yang. Alright, let's go return to the express a bit further the people you got to know on Senjo. Wait, so parang malalam ko nasan sila. Um, asa si King Shi? King Shi, um, Su Xiang. Saan na kaya siya? How do I know kung saan, kung saan sila hanapin? Oh shit. I wonder where's King Shi. 
Nandun pa rin ba siya sa bending? I think she is she still here? How do I? Paano ko malalaman kung nasan sila? Oh, where is it? Ayun si Bailu. I'm leaving the loafer. Ini tembak lo. Or I could just go there myself. I know all the best places. You'll be lost without me, and don't forget to come see me if you get any headache, fever, tendon pain, joint pain, ah, anything. My treatment is on the house. Oh shit, semasa kat nai dekut kau. Okay, just say bye, bro. Where's? Andi ko, apa nama nama ko nasi mai bah? Kalau ko si King Shen andi itu, eh. Itu, kalau ko si King Shen andi itu, eh. I wonder where she is. There's bye, bro. Apa nama nama ko nasi sila? Oh my god. How will I know? Okay, isip naman natin. Wait lang ha. Nasa yung may malaking puno. So, baka si, baka si, baka si, si Sushang nandito. Gusto ko na makita yung mga dialogue. Bago tayo umalis. I'm curious. Kasi pinin ko talaga, i-off stream ko na yung iilan sa mga story dito. Para na makaabot na tayo sa Peneconi. Still early. Si... Si... Ano kaya? Si Luafa kaya? Ano sa... Ay, Luafa. Ano tama? Intersave zone. Ano ba? Yung problema. Ah, saan sila lahat? Oh, wala yun. Kung nasan sila? Oh my god. Left safe zone. Oh my god. Paano ko malalaman lahat? Artisan Commission. Cloudford. I wonder... Um... Tignan natin. Na-play-check muna natin yung pinaka... Na-play-check muna natin yung pinaka-obvious na lugar, no? Yung pinaka-unang... Ano? Hindi ito, hindi ito. Stargazer, Arm Alley, Divinization, Artisan Commission, Alchemy, Cloud Fort, Central... Ito, ito, ito. Hey, wait. Oh, tama, tama. Alright, where should we? Gather your strength. Are you off then? Yep. The Xianjia Law Fu is all the richer for your brief time with us. I offer blessings on behalf of the Skyfaring Commission on the eve of your departure. If you require resupplying during your journey, you can always count on us. Alright. I guess no shit na mahanap ko lahat siro, so I guess um I said that. Let's go. We're leaving. Wait long. <laughs> Are they really? No, la, 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 la,
Oh, so Shang. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Sure am. Things have been in constant turmoil since I transferred to the Law Fu. Now that I've got a little free time, I'm here to listen to some storytelling. Are you? Sorry, I've, I've met so many people recently. Uh, you seem unfamiliar. Judging by your clothes, you must be an outworlder. Uh, then. Is that so? Well, before you leave, I, I recommend listening to Mr. Xian's Legend of the High Cloud Quintet. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to be an epic hero. I never get tired of hearing about the quintet. I'm sure you'll love. You should bring Don Hung along next time. We can chat over some tea. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I won't take any more of your time. Good luck. This is this is so 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 shang and then and this is I wonder where are the others. Sorry, my ba. Si King Shell. Alam ko na alam ko si King Shell. Dapat nandun lang eh. Wait lang, wait lang. Last. Eh, tama ba ito? Oh, tama. Plus. Orum Ali. Orum Ali. Ay, wait. Di ba minensyon ni King... Di ba minensyon ni King siya na... Doon sa Or Orum Ali? Yung restaurant doon? Baka lang. Let's check here kung nandito siya. Oh, wala. Oh, ito pala siya. I'm guessing seeing you here probably means that your affairs on the Sienjo are mostly complete. I'm living the law for. Is that it? I thought you were gonna stay for at least a little longer. Did Welt learn how to play Celestial Jade in the end? If he hasn't got the hang of it yet, <coughs> tell him to come see me and I'll show him the ropes. Oh, I haven't asked you yet. Are you interested in learning yourself? Uh, sure. <laughs> I thought so. Come back when you have time. I'll teach you. We're in agreement then. You can come back anytime and I'll teach you how to play. Alright. I guess. Oh, I didn't. I wait. Wait, lang. Sorry, ah. Uh, gusto talaga, gusto na talaga marinig yung mga dialogues nila. Yung mga alam ko lang. Wala ko nandito siya ano eh. Ay hindi. Wala. Ay wait lang. Ito. Oh come on. Hinawala ko. Nandito si Fook, Fook siya ano eh. Hindi pala. May chest dun oh. I guess we're okay. Let's go. Let's go on our next journey. There's a dreamlike quality to watching these star skiffs depart through the Jade Gate. How long will these ships sail? And which stars are they traveling to? From a universal perspective, there is little difference between the lives of long and short life species. The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. Where's Lang Heng? Didn't know you are a poet. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> Himiko and I were just discussing our journey. This little excursion has reached its conclusion. All things must come to an end. Still, some endings spark a new beginning. Next time, I think I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. Well, can stay on the express. <laughs> Since when did the work roster just change like that? Actually, I'm okay with Himiko. What's our next stop? Tony, do you remember? Before Kafka's proposal, that was our original destination. Oh. 
Wait. The family is throwing a banquet there, and they sent invitations out to the express. I was curious about the state of the planet, so I accepted. When the conductor is ready, we can set off for the next stop. Wait, sandali lang pala? Oh, kalang matatagalan ako? Oh, Luafa. All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Which are you? <laughs> Neither. I'm merely a lost traveler. <gasps> what a spectacle. The Stellaron, the Ambrosial Arbor, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, the Lord Ravager. A series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question. They who brought the Stellaron onto the Siendro, what was their motive? <laughs> Surrender, or do you require encouragement? Abomination of Yausher. General, my power does indeed stem from the abundance. But I'm the same as you. We are both enemies of Yausher. <laughs> That's right, Jing Yuan. Stay out of our way. The revival of the Arbor is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. Who is this? The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, the Ruin author. Oh, Black Swan. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. I did. This time, Jinglu. We put the abundance in their grave. It's Jinglu. Wait, why can I see Black Swan? Alright. Oh my god, Penicone na. Is you there? Um, what's up? <laughs> I still remember there was nothing that caught my attention during this trip to the low fall. Di ba si low fall yun know? Hindi ko sasabi ko. Ah, uh, so I think this mage should be used on me. I think this is the seat of D. Uh, no problem. Oh my god, and dami. Part 2. Hindi pala natin ginawa ito, no? Uh, something wrong? Alright. See, this true. Right, ito na. Ito, ay, shits. Nice. Oh, Ginefin. Oh, I don't know. Live, oh, live stream. Live streamer pala siya. I don't watch this exactly. Oh. Uh, very interested. Oh, nice. Asher Express. Hey, 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 hey. Hello. Yes, yes, I can't now spin the Yes. Time to head to the next stop. Let's meet up with everyone in the park. Mister, the definition commission. I'll send you the coordinates. So that's it's really yours, Kafka. You're still on low fall. Can't leave. Need your help. Ladies, Mars, and this are getting serious. Coordinates. We'll be here. I wait. Okay. Oh, Kafka. This is. Right. Dang, Penicone! Papunta tayo sa Penicone! Uh, mabilis lang pala? Wait lang, may gusto ako i-check. Check. Check. Ah, saan na yun? Saan na yun? Night. Sanjo. Sa Mysterious Woman. 
Slayer Hold. Ito. Optional. No, di natin na sabihin. Tayo-tayo lang. Right. Check natin, check natin si Kafka. Oh my god, pinay ko na yun. Kaya pala, may nention pala last time na hindi pala actually ganun katagal. Kala ko matagal. Dami ko. Out at the Divination Commission? That's a bold decision. Kaya dami mga Mara dito. Wait lang. You know nothing of the weight behind survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Oops, I'm going to take a little more strap. She should be around here somewhere. What are you doing here? I knew you would come. I'm gonna go on ya. So, what's the deal? What do you want? If we had Elio's eyes. The world would not appear as it does to you and I. There are myriad possibilities overlapping one another, representing the consequences of different choices, and in every passing moment, an infinite number of choices converge on the same point and become the present, and then become the past. So, was this your choice? To respond to my request for help? Yeah, um, yes. I do. Blade is in a prickly situation. On the Sienjo, you're the only one I can turn to. Wait, na parang may parang may mayari, parang may mayari dito. So wait lang. Switch ko ang. Ah. So I switch here. Being stricken with Mara is the inescapable destiny of the long life species. It is a madness triggered by the accumulation of emotions and memories. Blade doesn't remember much, but the Mara still haunts him in some form. After we arrived on the Sienjo, the Mara in him flared up so violently that even my spirit whisper couldn't suppress it. He's not fit for interstellar travel in this state. What do you want? What do you want me to do? My plan is to use Spirit Whisper to temporarily seal the Mara by reducing its potency. I need to focus all my concentration, so I'll be vulnerable for some time. I need you to protect me while I suppress Blade. Or, pwede lang kita patayin dito na. I know when danger will come and what form it will take. Don't worry. Together we can do this. No harm will come to you. Now, there are wandering monsters nearby. They'll spell trouble if we let them hang around. Go take care of them. Your victory is certain. All right. Letter from the strange woman. Check out the enemies roaming nearby. All right. Or 
some hardship. We have the upper hand. Okay, nothing more. Oops, sorry, I'm not doing it. You know nothing. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Enemy targets detected. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Let's begin. I'm with the next shield, though. Ready for another? <laughs> right, that's dead. It's just a part of the adventure. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Very good. So, mga sakit ng agad yung tenga ko. Tawin natin yung Mara. You know nothing of survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Support. I'm just gonna shield you. Oh, you should. Look at the buff for the scene, no, no, it's in March. Oh, I'm moving on. The combat report will be ready soon. I ain't got it. We took off any blades hide it. We should look for a at the cockle cuts the spirit whisper short. Good to open my eyes and see you back here. Uh, sir, I was focused on your side. Not fast enough. I've weakened Blade's senses to the outside world so that he's only able to hear my voice and feel my touch. He's oblivious to everything else. I'm going to transfer his consciousness away from the Sienjo and cleanse his memories of Jing Yuan. Jing Liao, In Sing, and your friend, Don Hong. Again. Again. <laughs> this process mustn't be interrupted, but I can Seems answer ancient. questions before I begin. My questions? Yes, as compensation for helping me. You don't have any questions? I put you into a deep sleep and then reawakened you. Abandoned you at the space station, then lured you to the Sienjo. I owe you an explanation or two. Don't you want to know? Hmm, now that you mention it. Garage, we still have time. Think about it first and ask when you're ready. One rule though please don't ask anything boring. Uh, like what? Uh, like, no, no, no. Let's play truth and lies. It's a game I play with Silver Wolf all the time. Kind of psychological. Both sides ask each other two questions, then give one true answer and one false answer each. Each? So, one of my answers will be true, the other will be false. As for which is which, that's up to the asker to make the call. We don't have much time. Let's do two rounds to start. You ask me two questions, and you'll also have to answer two of mine. But oh, remember... okay. Well, what if both my answers are true? Oh, that's not allowed. The game only works when both sides follow the rules, and I'll be none the wiser if you break them. Let morality be your guide, but I give you my word. I will abide by the rule of one truth, one lie. Sorry, and I just couldn't volume. I'll go first to give you a demo. Alright. Oh, don't be nervous. The first question is quite trivial. You can tell the truth or tell a lie. It's the second question where the game gets interesting. 
My first question is... What do you think about what me? What do you think about me? Huh? What do I think about Kafka? Uh, how should I answer? If I tell the truth, I have to lie the next time and vice versa. Or I could just cheat. Uh, is that really an option? <laughs> Wait, I mean, you're not to get Kafka. Uh, um... What do you think about me? Say tell the truth, na. Better to tell it like it is. Truth, I like you. Wow. <laughs> uh, truth, I, I, um, is it the truth? I, I can't say na I like you. Pina ko dami, pina ko talaga dami tao pumili niyan. I dislike you. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> and there you have it. It's a pretty simple game, don't you think? <laughs> You're hiding your feelings well. Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to put our game of truth and lies on pause. Pero kung daming pumili, I like you. <laughs> the Cloud Knights are here. I need you to help me get rid of them. Uh. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'll take care of any repercussions. This conflict is inevitable. It's destiny. Okay, fine. Wait. Hey, you stop. We captured the one to get put the gem and come with us. Uh. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, why did you come in? Enemy data sync net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack. <laughs> Commencing research. Ow. Let's begin. Good. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Wait, take a long. No way. <laughs> Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. We have the upper hand. Ready for another? Tough luck running into me. To travel. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Leave it to me. Let's begin. Let's begin. Speak with Kafka. Let's speak with Kafka. See, the future always seems like infinite possibilities, but what is destined to happen will always happen. This conflict is inevitable because the other possibilities don't exist. I need to use the Spirit Whisper on Blade again, but. Let's play another round first. Have you um, question? Come to me when you're ready. I can wait. Question, question. The game continues. Your turn. So I get so, two. Oh. I get two questions. Only one of which Kafka will answer truthfully. But I won't know which answer is which. What should I ask? Uh, ask about. Myself. When I came to on the space station, I remember seeing Kafka, but everything before that is a blur. Shouldn't I ask about my past? Um, what is um? What's my connection to you? Genetically speaking, you are my child. What? A quarter of the data that makes up your body comes from me. Of course, neither Silver Wolf, Blady, nor Sam are well suited for looking after a child. Wait, Sam? Oh, Stellar and Hunter plus his. Hey, wait. Oh, Stellar and Hunter plus his Sam, no? Um. Wait. Wait. Toto bato. So the burden of mentoring you fell on me. 
It was a stressful job, and I dumped you on the train as soon as I got the chance. No matter what she says, she looks like she's got something oh, yeah, to I can't tell what's true and what isn't. I see the look on your face. Don't bother asking. I can't tell you if an answer is true or not. Make your best guess and choose your next question based on my answer. That's the beauty of the game. I hope your next question proves interesting. The rules of this game are like reality. We all think we have infinite possibilities, but when you really analyze it, you could count them on your fingers. Every question and answer is constrained by previous choices. The future is like a labyrinth. Every is merely an inducement. There is only one real path. What's, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's oh. a metaphor. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Soon we will face another battle. Can you change that possibility? Option, try to change the future and prevent the battle from happening. What do you mean? Ayun, nalilito na ako. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Time for some hardship. Commencing support. Oh, I'm gonna play Mara. Enemy targets detected. Ready for another? What? My turn. Let's begin. Commencing support. Can't run. Here, try this. Thanks for the support. What do you mean? What do you mean the optional? Try to change the future and prevent the battle from happening. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Leave it to me. Enemy targets detect. Ready for another? <laughs> Let's begin. Commencing sir. Leave it to me. Enemy targets detected. Right, let's talk the to Kafka. Is vast beyond compare. Oh. Oh? Well, you're doing a great job. The future is still clear. The real test lies ahead. The young swordmaster of the Cloud Knights. He will not be an easy foe. Young Master's master. Until then, let's continue our game. It's my turn again. <laughs> Second question. Do you want to see me again? What kind of question is that? Will we see each other again? She'd know the answer to that one. As for whether I'd want to, it seems obvious to me. I guess I do want to see her again. So my answer is. I don't want to see you again. I've learned the rules of the game. Uh -oh. What? 
Wait. Okay. I'm done asking. What a surprise. I can't see through you. Wait, there go. After all, how can I know which answer is which? You've become very impressive. And unfamiliar. Well, it's your turn to ask a question. Come see me when you're ready. Right? Play the second round of the truth or lies. This is your last question. Surprise me. I don't know if Kafka was telling the truth in the previous question. But one thing's certain. For this question, she'll have to answer according to the rules. Should I venture into a whole new topic? Whole new topic. Venture into a whole new topic. Kafka wants me to surprise her. Let's try this on for size. <laughs> what the heck? Ano tong pangalawa? Uh, uh, no. No? Inang? Inang? Oh, hi. Stellaron hunters. The general was merciful enough to let you live. But you haven't shown the slightest bit of gratitude. Why are you here? Because he was struck by my spirit whisper. My powers of suggestion are capable of convincing people to accept my Oh, I guess I don't know what I don't know a second thought. I guess I don't know what I don't know what I don't know Defeat this little boy and your mission is over. God, you witch! Well, I guess I don't know what I don't know. Ow. Sword, heed me. Stay cool and leave data secure. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. You know nothing to survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Deeper. Thanks for the support. Ready for another? My turn. Ay, kala ko may mag- kala ko may magagawin. Survive or be destroyed. 
There is no other choice. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Here, try this. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. Let's begin. Enemy data secure net marker activate. Time for a good old counter attack. Kayak obat Oh my god, I got to go Let's begin Wait long, wait long, wait long Eh, wait, wait long the same lang nung nang ginawa ko last time I 
the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Commencing support. Punish evil. I'm fine. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Commencing research. Here, try this. Out moves. Enemy targets detected. Ready for another? Enemy data secure. Net marker activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Huh. Try that again. I'm just warm enough. Commencing support. Yeah, yeah. You make some, some block the young. Anisa, unremovable. Any stuff is gonna be defeated. This will be precipitated. This will be an experience with this fed up and cost damage to young. Oh. Huh. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Oh, nice. Thanks for the support. Leave it put. I failed. Ay problema lang talaga hindi ko na sira yung mga swords niya kaya ako natalo. If it weren't for you, that kid would have had me and Blade in the shackling prison in no time. Of course, Sam and Silver Wolf would have broken us out, but Blady would have been gravely injured, and our relationship with the Sienjo would have been damaged beyond repair. If possible, I'd like to avoid that kind of future at all. Can I leave now? Oh, you're awake? Yes, the Mara in you is temporarily suppressed. So long as you avoid overstimulation and familiar faces, you shouldn't have a problem. Wait. You're not leaving? I am sorry, Kafka. There is a person. A person to whom I am greatly indebted. I must see them. Then it's in your hands. Elio didn't say anything about what happens next. Thank you for coming to my aid. I appreciate it. Our paths will cross again. 
Alright. No more lang. I remember you. Uh huh. You once followed Kafka, didn't you? There was a time when she was on a mission. You were next to her. I remember. I've yet to see anyone follow her for as long as you did. And live to tell the tale. I guess I owe her my thanks then. <laughs> Every Stellaron hunter has a deal with Elio. I do not know the nature of those deals. But I do know that Kafka and I agreed to take orders from Elio. She must have sought something extraordinary. Everything she does comes at a great cost. She will have done many things to keep you alive until now, young one. Right. I think that's that. Free will. <laughs> Learn from a strange woman. Alright, so that's done. Oh. Why the. Oh, the Edelon. The value of choice lies in unwavering resolve. Di ba rin naman natin pwede i-switch? Si Dong Heng? Dong Hong? Alright, I think... Head to the next stop. Let's meet up... Uh, Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. So, what came up? Yeah, what was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next destination Panacone. is the planet of festivities. Panacone! I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel. But before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. First, Panacone is located in Azana, a star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal level. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different. So if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptom. Depression. You take this seriously. Second, Penacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest, and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. Rome? Uh, anyway... Third and final. Rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could... I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Uh, are you getting new crewmates? <laughs> To explain, just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Panacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Panacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Panacone their permanent home. It's rare happening. Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure. Wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, 
The three people who got off were Tiernan, Legworth, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names, either. This will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to double check your bags. I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump! All right. There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. What the? Is this a letter? I've learned a few return to your home. How you up in the ancient seas? Upend the ancient sea and return to old ground. It's a letter for Don Hung, but who is it from? I should ask the conductor. Listen to the news broadcast. Alright. Alright, um, okay na ako yun. Hindi na titigil. Wow, pwede ko kanin next. Pwede ko kanin yung next destination. Ano kayo mangyayari dun? Alright, I guess that's that. Nandito na ako. Nandito sa tabi tayo ni Himiko. Alright, ah my god. Yung mga kapunta rin tayo sa Pinacone. Hindi pala, hindi pala, hindi pala tumagal tayo para makapunta sa Pinacone. Kala ko matatagalan tayo. Alright. Alright, I'm out. Oh no. Oh, oh.